Hi everyone! So today I thought that I would take you guys along with me for some vlogging. Um, nothing really that special is happening today. I am getting my hair cut. Um, that's why it's not really styled or anything. It is just so extra long. It hits like below, kind of almost to my waist. It's just so, so, so long. Last time, ooh, ugh. Last time I got my hair cut was in the summertime. So it's been a good like six months um, and my hair grows so fast. I don't know why my hair grows so fast. Um, so now I'm just going to go ahead and head over to the salon. I'm probably going to get Starbucks first because I haven't eaten anything today um, and I'm kind of craving some coffee. Um, so I'm going to do that and I will show you guys what it looks like after. Do you want to say hi to my viewers, Max? This is my dog, Max, for those of you that don't follow me on Instagram. He's um, a mix of we don't really know what, but he's just the most adorable thing ever. <gasps> is my mom home? My mom is just coming back from running and he can tell that like when she's a mile away. <gasps> he's so pretty. All right, everyone, so here is the haircut. I am absolutely in love with it. Um, she cut off a good like six inches, so it's pretty short for me at least. My hair used to be so, so long. Um, and she did these kind of side bangs that I had before. Um, and I love the way that she, that she blow dried my hair, just the, these kind of like voluminous waves. And she took a lot of length also like in between the hair um, so that it won't have as much um, sort of weight to kind of um, make it flat. So I am so happy with the way that it turned out and I cannot wait to um, like recreate this with my Conair rotating um, airbrush. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go home now. I didn't end up uh, going to Starbucks because the line was so long. Um, so I'm gonna go home now and have something to eat at home. All right, so for my breakfast, I am going to have uh, what I drink basically every morning, which is my chai tea, which I got from Costco. Well, my mom got it, but I drink it. So, well, what we got from Costco with just some low-fat milk. And I normally really don't drink milk, but um, they only sell the soy milk and the almond milk in huge containers. Um, and I'm not going to be able to finish that by the time I leave. And I'm going to try out the Special K flatbread breakfast sandwiches. Um, I saw an ad for them on the TV and I love breakfast sandwiches so I thought that I would go ahead and give them a try and I think you can just put them in the microwave um, so that will be nice. So I will be having that with my chai tea. Meet, Dana, Maxi? meet my kitty everyone. Where's Dana? Hi Dana. Maxi, where's Dana? Where's Dana? Where's Dana? Where is she? Oh there she is. And this is my mama. Oh no. But she refuses to be on camera because she's not wearing any makeup. No, I look ugly. <laughs> I look... Mom, you don't look ugly. You're always beautiful. You're always beautiful. Oh, who's that in our backyard? <gasps> oh, the pool guy's here. So my dog is going to go on like a barking rampage. Just wave. Just wave. <laughs> okay. Maybe we'll try and get her to be in the vlog later. So my dog hasn't yet realized that the pool man is here, but once he does, he's gonna go bananas on him. All right, so I am going to the supermarket right now. Um, and the weather is so, so bad. It's like raining and disgusting. Um, and I don't know how people do this whole vlogging in the car thing because it's kind of hard. Um, like, I don't know where to put my, um, my camera, so I'm just kind of holding it with my hand, but I'm going to the supermarket because um, I am getting some arugula and ciabatta bread because I'm making um, my mom and myself um, some pear and arugula paninis, which are so, so delicious. I'm going to show you guys how to make them later in this vlog, so I have to go and pick up those things. Alright, so what you're going to need for the um, pear and goat cheese and arugula paninis is obviously some arugula, um, a piece of ciabatta bread and just cut it open like that, um, some honey, a pear, it doesn't really matter what kind but I find that the red ones work better, uh, so a red pear, some salt and pepper and goat cheese, this is just I think a generic kind of goat cheese. 
And I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's all together. And you're going to need some form of like panini press or like a cast iron um, pan. Uh, just basically anything to kind of um, make the panini hot. All right, so you're going to want to spread the goat cheese on the panini. And then you're going to go ahead and pile the um, pear, which I've cut in just kind of um, half circle shapes. And then just drizzle on a little bit of honey. And then the next thing, and then the last step is just to put on a, just like a bunch full of arugula and sprinkle it on with some um, salt and pepper. And then you just fold it up and place it in the panini press or whatever kind of um, tool you have to like make it hot and to press it down. So once you take it out of the um, panini maker or whatever you're using, you just cut it up in half and it should look something like this until the cheese is kind of like soft and warm. And this is gonna be my mom who is sitting over there. She doesn't wanna be on camera, but how is it? Do you like it? Thumbs up? Nice, and my doggy's over there going to see if any scraps are falling on the floor. Do you like it? So we're gonna go eat this and we had some leftover um, corn chowder that I made last night. So we're gonna go eat this and yeah. So that's basically everything that we're doing tonight. I think we're just gonna watch some TV later. Um, I got my mom hooked on the Big Bang Theory. Uh, so we're gonna watch two episodes of that and that's basically it. So with that, I will leave this vlog um, and I will see you all in the next one. I hope you guys enjoyed, bye.